No one is like David Harbour. It feels like there's nothing he can't do. He's just making this character really pop and far more interesting than we originally imagined. He's incredible. Uh, my name's David Harbour. I play Chief Jim Hopper on the show. I emailed the tape to the guys, and it was two seconds later. We all knew we had our guy. And he just brought this classic leading man quality that we just hadn't seen in a long time. As himself, he has a gruffness and a charm that is really unique. David was a really fun character in season two. We got to make him Indiana Jones. What I love about David, and especially his performance, is that it's so natural. It seems like he is Hopper, and that he really becomes Hopper when he's in front of the camera. His spaces are fun, because um, out of everyone on the show, I feel like David knows who Hopper is. He has a certain charisma, but underneath that is this sort of feelings of injustice. I think he's very disappointed, I think he's very sad, and I think he's shoved it all down. Had you met him seven years ago, I think he was a guy with a really big heart. And I think sometimes that still comes through, but it's been there are layers and layers on top of that that are hard to find that. Sometimes it only appears in sort of moments. Hey. Your heart breaks for this guy. You know, he's been through so much, but then he also has just like this fiery wild side where he can get pretty angry. He has a lot of ego. He has a lot of arrogance. Chief Jim Hopper. And I think that his coming to realize that those control issues hurt people other than just himself is sort of a realization throughout the season. So you understand these things about the character, but then to actually make it organic or to make my particular skin crawl, it has to be personal to me. And so I start to like figure out these things about the way Hopper thinks, and then I'll start to play with things in my life, uh, situations that have happened to me that were embarrassing or humiliating. You know, it's me sitting alone in a room for three hours a day, and you do all this work, and then you get out in front of the camera and you kind of like let it go. It's breakfast, okay. Season two, and we start to see his evolution as a father. To be able in season two to service this big idea of the Duffers, which is, well, what if we take our big man your new home. and our little girl, and what if we spend the season with them as a duo? We knew that it was gonna be Clash of the Titans, and we knew we were building a family, a father-daughter connection for two characters who need that more than anything. So you have this guy who is alive again, and uh, he's found purpose, and he's found sort of will to live, and he has an opportunity to create more justice in the world for this little girl. I don't think he can actually view her powers in the same way that other people view her powers because Hopper is looking at her to be a little girl that he can care for. So when she throws the book with her mind or when she breaks windows, he can't take that in because it would be too terrifying. He's just giving it back to her as much as she's giving it to him. And all the while, she's got these incredible psychic powers and he seems to have forgotten so that. No TV at all. I think one of the biggest things for me in that scene was actually the uh, ignoring of her powers. If he understands it fully at any time, he'll stop. He needs her to close this rift. But again, like to send who you think of as your daughter into this scary place is like a terrible choice to have to make. And there's this moment of like, I'm in too deep. Friday night at 3.30 in the morning, we were all just ready to, you know, go home and have a long weekend. And we finished the scene and we were walking through the woods and I looked at David and it was just the two of us walking and I said, David, I was in such a foul mood like 15, 20 minutes ago and that performance made me feel like it was worth being out here at this time right now. Hopper is our rock and David Harbour is our anchor. I think honestly for the rest of my life, I will always say it was David Harbour that helped me bring out and channel this character.